more than yesterday, Taylor. He goes the big shot and gets away with it. He's hitting with the spin. And it rolls away for four, so a little bit of a risk there. Through the offside, that's a really good stroke. That's keeping his head, Taylor. And it was just on its merits, it was just too full. Then you've got Mitch Marsh, like the Ian, both of them come in and trying a few things. Yeah, good stroke. Now, Taylor's earned that. He got in a great position to defend, three balls in a row. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Mid-off, mid-on rather, is up pretty tight, and Taylor picked his spot. Finds a gap this time. It's going to take some tracking down too for Mitchell Johnson. He runs away from you quickly. He won't get there. Position so quickly. There's another one. That's four. So uh, Taylor, he's left on one. He probably just used the example from the other end. Yeah, well, it's the length now for Stark. He can't bowl that short length again. It's a better length. But look at that. Down the ground. This could be 50 for Taylor. And a terrific start to the day. It is 50. Enjoying his time at the crease. He was out injured for some time. He's moving better all the time at the crease. Well played. This is sweet for Ross Taylor. I can tell you that three months ago, the thought of playing in this series was a long way from his mind. Just They have been in the last two years. Beautifully struck. It was full and wide, but you still have to hit it for four. Traditional nature of Brisbane and Perth is not evidenced enough in recent times. Williamson is loving it. Have them good for batting the start of the match and then they deteriorate badly and the bowlers come into play. No third man. It's going to run away for four. Run's starting to flow here for the New Zealanders. That's going to go for four. It was an opportunity. Took a piece of the glove or the bat handle and just flew outside of any range for Neville. More of the same. Magnificent straight drive from Ross Taylor to finish the over. Two for 220. Pitches up. He thought Taylor mightn't be ready for it. Johnson was wrong. Oh, it's well into the gap. Very effective. Nathan Lyon's been waiting a bit, but he is doing it at his own pace. Or oh, is this it? It is! Outright second on the New Zealand Centurions list is Ross Taylor with his 13th. see why these two uh, have been so productive for New Zealand they obviously enjoy batting together and Ross Taylor has really found some good form here today in this innings oh good firm hit little dance of the feet growing in confidence is Ross Taylor pounded a half volley, but it's just blistered through wide mid-off for four. Moore down the ground, just helping himself. <laughs> this tour. <laughs> Again, same area, same treatment. Racket in the highlights for the next session as well. 07, something like that. Doesn't sound like a lot, but as a batsman, it's a heap. Nicely played. That'll run away. So that's using the pace. That's where pace can help you as a batsman. You have to be confident. And it's a great test against this attack. Well, that's one of the best of the day from Taylor. That'll bring up his 150. What a way to bring it up. That was full of class.
That's a good stroke. Really good stroke from Taylor. Another boundary. It runs away, and there's no stopping that. It is so quick. There's a boundary. No, uh, it's not the finish to the over. Oh, it's gorgeous. That'll take him to T. Elegant. Wide half folly and dealt with by Ross Smith. Uh, Ross Taylor, I should say, who has uh, got himself now. Oh, bashed. Just clouted back down the ground for four more. That's Australia's finest player of the day, thanks to Crown Lager. All was in the air. Flashed and flew wide of Dave Warner in the gully. Oh, another lovely shot from Ross Taylor. Full face of the bat once again. And then you show him that. He goes through cover. What a lovely way to bring it up. A moment to savour for Ross Taylor, the first New Zealander to make 200 against Australia. Slashing square drive. It's his 32nd boundary. In Brisbane, where someone suggested he was playing for his place in the side in this four more. He deserves uh, one to go every now and then for your cause, and he gets a lucky bounce there. Because I think both these sides will be looking for results still. Still two days to go. It's a good thrash to bring up 500. Brilliant fight back by the Kiwis here. The game very much alive, hard game to call. Still in Australia's hands if they can finish this innings off. Edge and over the top of Gully. Races away. The first boundary of day four. He's hit the one boundary. It was an edge over Gully. And another one. This time a lot more in control of the stroke. And you want to be good at it. 248 Taylor and that'll be 250 the New Zealander he's certainly back in form in a big way he said he was shaky coming in the test match not happy with how he played at the Gabba this is the innings of his life and he beat the ploy of Steve Smith here it's a stark trying to bowl wide and across him Steve Smith had brought everyone up to try to keep him on strike so they could bowl the next over. Down the ground, that, that'll run away, that'll be four, I reckon. It's nearly impossible to stop them once they pierce mid on and mid off. Oh, he's hit that all right. Up over mid on, oh, not quite all the way. And again, up over mid off. And that will run away, will it? No, it won't. Yes, it will. Oh, he's got that fine. It's off the gloves and it runs away quickly here. That's four. Slashed away backward of a point. And four from the moment it left the bat. Is he brave enough and strong enough to, to take on the two minute long on and long off? Oh, he's got to go. He's got to go. The man out there holds it. Well done. Substitute fielder Jonathan Wells. Well done indeed. But Ross Taylor is smarting. He's turned and he's made his way back to the pavilion. Post haste. He's furious with himself. He need not be. He's played one of the great innings. History will remember it and record it and relate it to any that has gone before. 
Ross Taylor must be proud. New Zealand must be prouder still. Highest score by any visiting batsman to Australia.